you students i hope you are all fit and fine at home students this wednesday we have another interesting health topic come your way kindly watch the video a proverb is to speech as salt is to food goes the saying imagine the sight of a hot dish served at your table the waft of its aroma tantalizing your senses you take a teaspoon of it taste it and then realize something is missing no sooner than you have figured it out you dash for the salt but wait have you considered that while you may want your food to be tasty you are also putting your health at risk by consuming salt in excess over a period of time salt primarily consists of 60% chloride and 40% sodium it's a very important ingredient in the food that enhances taste and has a direct impact on health and well-being hence the salt intake should be in correct balance for your good health first and foremost salt is used as a seasoning to enhance the taste of your food the salty flavor makes bland foods such as carbohydrates that is your bread pasta etc palatable and it helps to bring out the natural flavors in other foods salt plays a crucial role in maintaining human health it is the main source of sodium and chloride ions in the human diet sodium is essential for nerve and muscle function and has involvement in regulation of your fluids what happens when you stop eating salt when you reduce the amount of sodium in your diet you can decrease your salt cravings decrease your risk for headaches a meal high in salt can cause the blood vessels in your brain to expand so how much of salt is too much who recommends a daily intake of 5 grams of salt that is 1 teaspoon equals to 3 grams of salt however indians consume way beyond the recommended values the average daily salt intake of the indian population is approximately 11 grams of salt the different types of salt there are various types of salts available in the market like grey sea salt himalayan pink salt smoked salt hawaiian salt rock salt sea salt and your table salt sea salt is obtained by evaporating water from the sea or the ocean while table salt is extracted from mining operations of rock salt we have pink salt and table salt the pink himalayan salt i'll tell you a few points it is hand mined in the himalayan mountains contains 84 essential minerals required by a human body a beneficial source of magnesium it promotes healthy ph balance helps regulate your blood sugar levels and also regulate your body's sleep cycles whereas the table salt has zero nutrients remain after high heat exposure it contains fluoride it is containing bad sodium leading to high blood pressure and even cancers there is also statistics that show it also weakens your bones and blood circulation how does one reduce the salt intake a balanced salt intake can be attained by observing the following number 1 restrict the intake of added salt right from an early age number 2 develop a taste for foods that are low in salt number 3 restrict intake of preserved and processed foods such as papads pickles sauces ketchup salted biscuits chips cheese and salted fish number 4 eat plenty of vegetables and fruits they are a good source of potassium number 5 always use 
iron fortified iodized salt number 6 go for low sodium labeled products number 7 no need to add additional salt on top of your salads and final number 8 it takes 21 days to form a habit by having low salt diet for 21 days you get to train your taste buds and thus stick to a healthy intake of salt to help your body stay in the pink of health i'm sure these tips will help you go a long way students let's stay focused and stay healthy and keep happiness levels high up thank you